reading a piece uh, in one of the papers today, I think it's in the Mail, um, or Telegraph, rather, uh, where Angela Rayner apparently has made a pledge to say that basically everybody will have to take their fair share of migrants. And she's basically saying that, you know, in Labour constituencies, they take a lot more migrants and they house a lot more migrants than they do to the tune of about six to one. Uh, compared to Tory councils. And so this is all sort of stuff that's buried uh, in the long grass and nobody really knows. So when Labour get in, what they're going to do is they're going to try and process all these people, by which we mean they're not going to be told to go home, they're not going to be sent anywhere, they're going to be staying here and they're going to be given housing. I mean, that's the key thing. And that's the problem. You know, we, we've uh, processed, we had a 250% increase last year in the number of applications that were approved. Yeah. So actually, we are processing a lot more than we did. 50,000 uh, asylum seekers were given applications to stay. That was the total right. number of, of, of immigrants legally in the 80s and 90s. Yes. Uh, so all that we know that's going to happen under, under Labour is people are going to get processed. They won't be able to, be, to send them back because, for the reasons Richard Sunak has expressed. Yes. And now we, we've just, just found out what to expect from a socialist government. Not only the economic distribution of wealth, right. but the distribution of uh, migrants, of migrants which throughout actually, the nation. Yeah, which is, uh, which is the, the sort of the distribution of stealth, you might say. <laughs> well, I think, you know, I'm hoping that they can send a lot of them up to Scotland. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, the, the SNP there always claim to be the most open arms to uh, yes. migrants and immigrants. No one's going up there. No. It's the most, you know, white British part of the entire nation. Right. And we know that parts of this country that have the least immigration are the most open to immigration. Yes. So perhaps this in a way might get those up it might be like Heineken beer reaching the park other beers can't reach <laughs> bringing immigrants into Cornwall and Devon as yeah. well might make those sorts of uh, 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 Lib Dem voters realise the problems faced in our mm. cities absolutely right let's have a look at another clip this is Keir Starr refusing to speak uh, about some leaked audio uh, in which it looks as though um, some people in the Labour Party believe that uh, the net zero cost will actually be in the hundreds of billions what the Chancellor did this morning was ask his opposite number, Keir Starmer's shadow chancellor, to rule out raising all your taxes beyond what they've already announced in the first budget. And the shadow chancellor wasn't able to do that today. That's what the chancellor did today. But you don't have to listen to me. Just go online, go to the Telegraph website, because we've just found a recording that they have put out there from the deputy chancellor from the Labour Party admitting that their plans will cost hundreds of billions of pounds. I'm just hundreds going to of explain billions of something pounds. to anyone who that hasn't is seen this today. That is going to cost all of you thousands of pounds of tax rises. That's okay. why I say Keir Starmer and the Labour Party are not being straight with you. So do not surrender to their tax rises. Let's so do not surrender their tax rises. I mean, it has been an awful lot about tax, and you, as you say, but the trouble is the arguments about tax are sort of nebulous because people don't know what the tax is that they're not going to pay now and that they might be paying in the future. It's, it's hard to kind of encapsulate that. Well, yeah, and both, you know, as we know from the Institute for Fiscal Studies, both the Tory and Labour manifestos are being completely dishonest with yeah. the public. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't really matter for Rishi Sunak because he knows he's not going to form the next government. He can make whatever promises mm. he wants to. But the Labour Party is going to be tested on, on all of this. And, of course, everybody knows that uh, this is going to cost far more than £28 billion yes. because this goal of 2030, every expert has said this is an impossible dream. Right. The, very, the very earliest you can get to clean energy is 2035, and Labour's going to pour so much money unnecessarily to try to meet this uh, unreachable target yes. of, of 2030. And, you know, we know what's going to happen. Once they get into power, they're going to do what all governments do. and say, oh, we didn't realise how bad yes. the books were. Right. We, we, we said we weren't it. going to raise right. taxes, but we're going to have to raise taxes anyway, right. and we can't reach to 2030. I right. mean, it's so obvious what's going to happen, and I think the British people deserve some honesty out of this. And it's not the only cost. I mean, the number of costs coming out of this, you know, people don't realise Gordon Brown's constitutional mm. reforms yes. include making social justice part of, the, part of a constitutional right. Mm. Things like healthcare and education but also the right to welfare payments. Yes. And that includes migrants who have the yeah. constitutional rights. So we'll be paying migrants welfare right. as a constitutional right. I mean, the tax bills are going to go through the And all the workers' all rights who are going to be able to demand that they can have so many days off sick the first day that they actually go to work in a new job, which is absolutely ridiculous. But let's have another look at uh, Keir Starmer being pushed a little bit more by Rishi Sunak uh, on net zero. It is absolutely right that we want to get in investors to come alongside that government money. And we've been talking, you won't be surprised by this, 
to global investors for the best part of two years okay. to say that if we put down this money set out in our manifesto, will you come alongside it and put down many more billions of pounds so that in partnership with the government we can make the change that we need? Hang on, hang on. No, no, let me just finish this. I'm sure we're going to come back to the same thing later on. I do. This is your own challenge. If you don't mind, I'm going to get to the next question. Hundreds of billions. Just be straight with the people. How many hundreds is it? Is it 200? I'm going to turn to the next question. Now. Is it 400? I think the Prime Minister must have been better about how many times he's going to interrupt me. <laughs>